types of creatures coming into existence. It's almost always asked, and uh, I don't know if these guys are going to ask it. If they are, I'll apologize for taking the question away from you. But uh, is the question of where did Cain's wife come from? Now, I don't know what that has to do with anything. But that's almost a common, when I did jail ministry in South Carolina, that was always there. Every week I went into the jail, some prisoner says, where did Cain's wife come from? What that has to do with anything, I have no idea. But that's always a question because the scripture isn't really clear. It says Cain went out and he found his wife. Well, let's explain that. Adam and Eve started with all the genetic richness of all the people alive today, in addition to all the people that were killed in the flood that did not carry their genes forward. Because in the flood, there are five genetic sources with which all of us come from. I suspect that before the flood, there were more, gene more genes than that, and some of those people just disappeared and did not come through the flood. Let me explain why there are five. Noah, Noah's wife. The three sons are part of that gene pool. They don't contain any more diversity than Noah and his wife, and then three wives of the three sons. So there's five gene sources from which all the population can come. But when you have a rich genetic mix, like in a Heinz 57 dog. Who's got a Heinz 57 dog? I had one live 14 years and visited the vet two times. Once to get dewormed and once to get sterilized. Now, if you've got a pedigree, you know something different, right? Have you seen the vet this month yet? Why? Because the gene pool has been stretched to the point that the, the richness is depleted and the creature becomes poorer and poorer in terms of health and eventually dies. Well, that's true of humans also. So Adam and Eve had a rich genetic makeup. From that, their children, and the Bible says they had sons and daughters beyond the sons mentioned in the scriptures. So they had a lot of children. Think about 900 or so years, how many children you could have. Wow. You could have a lot of children in that time, right? Well, they had a lot of children, and those children could intermarry because the genetic richness was still there. It is only when the Mosaic law is given that God finally says, now you can't marry a relative because you all have too many mistakes in your genes. I mean, look around. Do you have mistakes in your genes? You bet we do. We all have mistakes in our genes, and those mistakes carry forward. And the closer we are related to one another, the more mistakes and the more the mistakes will accumulate and result in offspring which are not going to be healthy, in some cases.